Hi, I'm Ernie Conover. Turning long, slender spindles is always a challenge. Well, you can get away for a long time by wrapping your hand around the piece once it is turned around and holding the tool down on the rest with your thumb. At some point, you are going to have to resort to a steady rest, and that is the subject of this month's discussion. Our first task is to check up our billet on exact centers. We can now bring our tool rest up in the center where the steady rest will bear and kind of see how much on center we are. We can see that there's a fair amount of bowing in this piece. In fact, I picked it specially for this demonstration. So our next job is to actually move this at the tailstock end over like that. And you sort of just keep guessing at this until you get it to run pretty accurately. But we're, we're doing much better now and we can hope to bring it round at this point and then grab it with a steady rest. So now that we have this running pretty much on center, we're going to take a nice sharp spindle gouge and we just take very light cuts here and again if you take a heavy one the wood will ride up over the uh, bevel and take a big gouge out of it. I've got it round enough that I'll actually reach in here making sure I don't pinch myself in any way and steady that wood a little bit with my hand. And there you can see it, it wanted to ride up. There it did it again. If you have a lot of trouble with the wood buckling, a final great tool that will get us through this problem pretty handily is a nice big round nose scraper like this with a good heavy burr on it. Use that with a light touch. And we're able to uh, bring this wood round. So we now simply bring our roller skate wheels into action here. This came with wing nuts and I brazed these strips of metal on here to get a lot more purchase on these nuts so that they wouldn't slip. And there we have everything running dandy now and now we can pretty much turn with impunity now that we have our steady rest gripping the piece on center, it is time to move the tailstock end of the billet over to its original exact center. And we can now turn the piece normally and pretty fast. I can judge exact diameters pretty well by just feeling with my hands. I don't turn very fast for this kind of work. I'm only going about 800 RPMs. Final finish is best done with a skew and I still use the technique of wrapping my hand around the spindle to dampen vibration. But our steady rest is making this so solid that I'm getting great performance out of the skew. You can see the woods being polished. As I come up to a shoulder or the tailstock, I use this crossed hands technique. And I'll get absolutely the best chatter-free cut with a skew by not cutting with about half the cutting edge in this area towards the heel, but actually sliding up into where I'm cutting on the very heel. And this will leave a beautiful chatter free finish and you can cut right up to a shoulder. Okay, it's now time to loosen up our steady wrist and just move it a few inches away from where we were originally grabbing it here so that we can clean that area up. Now sanded this out and put a coat of finish on it. Looks pretty good. You often get a little 
gouge where you originally brought this around under the steady rest. Uh, I had to actually fill that with a little bit of super glue. But other than that, it came out pretty good. A little bit of hand sanding is always necessary in this kind of work to get everything really nice. And when you have to turn something long and skinny like a flagpole, a steady rest is the tool you need.